I didn't mean to prove it this way. I proved too hard. But we can't be sure that was in the victim's locker. Oh, we can. See this tag? See this tag? It has a tag that says SL9 incident. Ooh. The video seems to depict the victim opening the locker, but that isn't the case. The lit lamp attests to this. Tap on the day of the crime. Even I could have opened that locker. Is this not so, Officer Meekins? Sure. It would appear so, sir. Order, order, order! So, are we to believe then that the victim, whom this witness stabbed in the evidence room, was not Detective Goodman? Jackson. Do not be misled, Your Honor. No, you what? should not be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? I finally understand what's going on! Apparently not, Your Honor. I'm asking that to fall for Phoenix's wild. The defense has merely demonstrated the possibility, and nothing more. The victim in the video was indeed a Bruce a good man. Prove it! Prove it! You got nothing? Yeah, where's your pilfered evidence? <laughs> well, allow me to offer one more testimony to prove this. What? Officer Megan, please testify about this. Uh, sir? M me, sir? I'm not sure what you're referring to, sir. Oh! Oh! You mean that, sir? Uh, of course, sir! His poor hand. He really is abusing it. Is, is this a joke? This is one of those non-joke crimes! Advanced murder! <laughs> Very well. Begin your testimony. Mystery Man 2, <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. Ah, oh, man, we got a sequel! There's one other thing that proves that man was Detective Goodman, sir. To enter the evidence room, one must use their ID card. Yes, I've thought about it this. It could have been swiped. Say it with us! Wipe for no swiping! When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. One, if Mr. Jake Marshall is in on it, he totally just opened the door for him. Two, it could have been somebody else's card swiped in between. Or three, he used the card, Goodman and the fake Goodman Wh split Why ways are you interrupting my thing. testimony? Okay, Jesus. Ah! At the time of the crime, the detective had used his card. But he couldn't show it to you afterwards. An ID card record. Mm, I see. I have the ID card record right here, Your Honor. The ID used at 514 is that of the victim. Just before the crime, hmm? This is without a doubt the victim's ID. However, one thing does strike me as unusual. That's right, I can think too. Several hundred cases should have been due for transferal. Why were there so few people using this room? Oh, ooh, judges is cluing in sometimes. That particular evidence room is only used for storing certain special cases. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. Me too, although it, it doesn't make much of a difference. I use so much freaking gel. Ooh. There were only a few cases up for transfer there, and most were cleared up by noon. Right. I see. Now let us move on to the cross-examination. Uh, we press. Yeah, we're just pressing everything. Hold it! So, unlike your earlier testimony, you believe this to be rock solid, do you? Yes, sir! Solid as stone, sir! If my hand wasn't wrapped in bandages, I'd even give the V for victory sign, sir! C can you not use your other hand? No, I have a microphone <laughs> in it, sir. Couldn't he just use his right hand for that? That's what I just said. Let's hear him out fully. As we've seen, one never knows what he might say until the very last second. Judges catch it on. Hold it! Is that card hanging from your neck one of these ID cards? Yes, sir. The card right, right next to my cuffs, sir. I keep it here so I won't ever forget it. But what if someone were to steal it from you, keeping it out in the open like that? Maybe I shouldn't wear it around my neck. Aww. Aww. Remember what I said two out of three times my tie gets stuck when I get out of my car? <laughs> the third time it's his neck ID tag! <laughs> <laughs> it probably no. is. Yes! Yup! It's just as you said, sir. Uh, uh. <laughs> Instead of the door closing, my ID card chokes me. Maybe I should just leave this one alone. <laughs> At any rate, each police officer has only one ID card. Both the police department and prosecutor's office can attest to this. Oh, goody for them. But you can get a new one. Gumshoe said that you could get a new one. And so, because Gumshoe yeah, lost his, so Goodman faked oh. losing his. Got a mm. second one. Or someone stole Goodman's, and Goodman actually lost it, and then someone else yeah. took it, like, and then he got a new one, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, 
proceed with your testimony. I could definitely see either one being the case. I I'm thinking we also have to use the Occam's Razor assumption. Easiest solution is probably the one. Not in this game, Mars. <laughs> not at all. Well, sometimes. Yeah, no, in this game, it's the opposite of Occam's Razor. I know we've had Occam's Razor happen at least once. Remember the, the Gordo one? The Gordy? Yeah, yeah, Gordy. It was okay, fucking that ridiculous. Was not. That one was insane. I feel like Occam's Razor would be that Edgeworth is correct every time. The most simple explanation? <laughs> Honestly, uh, Will Powers is a murderer. That is very The most true, simple though. explanation? Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edgeworth always is voting for the most simple explanation. We have to go hoopty loopty on it and be like, no, 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 that's not how it works. Yep. Let it be noted that this is the record the witness referred to. Let me see. Yes, that would be it. Detective Goodman is a good man. Uh, what's the matter? Uh, According to this, Mr. Edgeworth, your name is on here. I don't, uh, I, I don't understand why that matters. He went much earlier and like other people use the room? A bow. So it is, your honor. Oh my god, not that prosecutor again. Maybe he is behind all this. Being a prosecutor, he could hide the evidence. Mommy, is that man in blue it's sweating? Don't stare at him, he's gonna kill you! <laughs> <laughs> You've got the wrong color, kid. It would seem the inquiry committee will want to speak with you again today. Why? I, I don't under- like, I- like, like, before? Okay, this one, I do not understand. I guess they're trying to say that he was the one who put the glove in the door, but he couldn't have been because he could- he, he is not Goodman. He can't open Goodman's locker, right? So, like, why are they it coming at Edgeworth right now? Set it up for the next person. Nothing to be ashamed of regarding my actions or their consequences. But for now, let us continue with the cross-examination. The, the judge going to Edgeworth, like the inquiry committee might, might want to speak with you again, is the equivalent of Edgeworth going to Gumshoe? Yeah, l think about that when it's time for your review. You know? <laughs> like, oh my god. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. It must be so difficult for him. Hold it. Earlier, I believe you testified that when you asked the man to show his ID card, he pulled a knife on you. Yes, sir. He didn't show me any ID card, sir. <laughs> Unless it was on his knife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the numbers engraved on the knife. <laughs> uh, uh. Don't you think that's odd? I mean, if he had his ID card, all he had to do was show it to you. There wouldn't be any reason to draw a knife. Ah! Uh, maybe he just panicked? Everything stems from contradictions. Let's point them out. Mr. Wright, what do you think? Uh, I'm confused. What? The problem with this ID card testimony is far too obvious. It's not like Edgeworth to miss something like this. You're thinking too hard about it. Come on, let's show them what we've got. Okay, so now it's time to show evidence to a statement. So let's let's see what we have. It's not my badge. Is it not the badge? It's not my badge. It's never my badge. A heinous amount of indecision laid down. Check out lost report see this is he messed up right he messed up writing it yeah so that gives me like maybe he thought his card was, was different you know i'm wondering is there a if five someone nine? filled that out okay somebody was filling that out right yeah mm -hmm. so what if it wasn't goodman who was filling out that right. missing id what if it was someone else trying to get a new one how do we use it uh, yeah i don't know uh. what to like present with that Mm. Yeah, I gotta admit, I'm lost on this one. An eternity later. I'm gonna do this one. To enter the room, you must use their ID. So that means anybody could use an ID. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be their ID card. Exactly. You could take someone's ID card. And so even if I actually had the ID card, right, he wasn't Goodman. So if he showed yeah. Meekins his ID card, he would immediately know that the face and the ID face were not the same. Okay. I'm gonna present. Objection! Death. Oh, Wait the music did moment, go away. Officer Meekins. Good awaiting, sir. Or much else. I have the victim's ID card right here. I found it at the scene of the crime. Th the second crime, the other he crime. He found it in the parking lot, not in the evidence room. Yeah, exactly. That's it, I bet. That is, yeah. That makes sense. Well, no. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the the police department, your honor. I mean, the other crime scene. The original one that we were trying originally. Point the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. 
Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. Oh, see, it did come up. Here's how we get to it. Okay. Uh, uh lost item report? It's only half completed. I kept interpreting lost item as, like, lost evidence. Not, like, lost my personal items or effects. Same, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> but it shows that Defective Goodman... Defective... <laughs> Defective Goodman... <laughs> <laughs> Oof! Demoted in death! Ouch! But it shows that Detective Goodman had lost something on the day of the crime. That's why Defective Goodman could have had the card. <laughs> something important enough to fill out this report. Well, let me get. You believe this something to be his ID card, right? He started writing the number right, but remember, I think both Gant and Gumshoe have stated that it is hell to remember the freaking numbers on your ID card, so that's why he messed up writing the numbers. He did 5-9 instead of 5-8, because it was just mm. hard to remember. I can't say for sure, but there is a high probability. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. Order! Order! So now, what does this all mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't even require much thought. The man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room was not Defect- God, I said it again. Was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. We have Mr. Goodman and Mr. Badman. <laughs> Nice, yeah. Order, order, order! Does the prosecution have a response? I have only one thing to say to the defense. Oh ho. Uh -huh. Bravo, Mr. Wright. Uh, Edgeworth, I can't tell if you're sincere or not because uh, you always sound insincere with your voice. Uh, he's, he's making those eyes at you and he's saying bravo. I'd say take it. Bravo? Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5.15 p.m. on the day of the crime, the man in the evidence room Officer Meekins encountered was not Detective Goodman. There are two grounds to support this. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim lost his ID card. Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yes. Okay, I, I gotta say, I, I don't know what direction it's going, but if it's the team-up route, I like the team-up route. Uh, well, what's he up to? That being the case, we must inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake, then the murder in the evidence room is also a fake. In other huh? words, the security camera does not show the incident of the murder. You know, the one we're actually on trial for? Uh, yeah, that, that, that is... Well, I, I guess that's right. I'm right. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Only moments ago, you seemed content to be pointing around your finger. This isn't going to end well. <laughs> head tappy, head tappy. Well, well. <laughs> it seems you finally realized exactly what you've gone to such great lengths to prove. Explain yourself, Mr. Edgeworth. I believe I just spent five minutes doing so, but uh, very well. <laughs> I'll explain it again. I couldn't follow. The defense has already done the explaining for me. The victim in this video is a fake, which means a murder did not take place. Not at the police department at 5.15 on the day of the crime. So? Tap. So, the real crime can only take place at one location, the underground parking lot. I, I, I agree. At the prosecutor's office, the murderer being Miss Lana Skye, uh, the defendant. No. Uh, Wait, hold on. We're not there yet. The evidence is compelling. A trustworthy witness observed the moment the defendant used the murder weapon. We've been over this. Ah, I didn't mean to prove it this way. I proved too hard. I knew that testimony was way too shabby. It was all a trap from the beginning. Oh, not team up route. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. To be fair, this is the team up route. Who exactly was the victim Officer Meekins encountered? And where did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose is to examine only the murder of Detective Goodman. Which this supposedly was, uh, originally. Ow. Oh. Just so, your honor. Mr. Wright, you have to do something or, or else Lana. Hmm. What do, do I do? How am I supposed to get out of this mess? Uh, of course I'm going to object and the button shows itself, I press. Objection. Tap. One moment, your honor. What now, Sir Wright? Don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. No, no, uh, of course not. But I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. What are you talking about, almost? This cross-examination has proven one thing, and one thing only. The security video did not show the actual murder. 
We hope you enjoyed watching this episode of the Arcade Cabinet. Join us. We're live 9 p.m. Eastern, Twitch, and YouTube. If you like what you've seen so far, consider giving us a like and subscribe for more content and chaos. See, See you next time. time. And Meowth, that's right. No. <laughs> <laughs>